Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Today we have round three of the DVP Ubers Invitational that my boy BKC invited me to. If you guys actually want to see any of the rounds and them being commentated, besides just my games, of course, because right here what we're going to be doing is I'll be building my teams live and then the second half of the video or whatever portion of the video that ends up being the battles is going to be the live commentary on my battles as I am playing them. So, if you guys want to check that out, anyway, besides mine, check out uh, Kevin's channel. His link will be down below. So I have three ideas for this uh, round, and the first is Earthquake Latios. Uh, shout out to Phantos who um, just kind of like put the idea out there about like, oh yeah, if, you know, if Sun is annoying for you, try Earthquake Latios, which I mean makes sense because it deals with Heatran and it deals with um, it does okay to Jirachi. Jirachi. Uh, Thunder actually does the same thing, Soul Dew boosted as Earthquake, maybe even a little bit more, and Draco does about a little bit more too, but Earthquake is just consistent with Spike, so I like that a lot, and if it's like Sun as well, and I'm playing HSA, and they use a lot of Jirachi, a lot of Heatran, um, I actually took the liberty to write down all their leads and all their games so far, as well as their teams, uh, let me see if I can, I can probably put it on a polka paste, that way you guys can see it too, I just have it open on a notepad, um, just because... We're getting a little bit further into the tournament right now. Sure. Wow, that did not make it look good at all. We're getting a little bit further into the tournament right now. And um, if I, I'm one and one right now. So if I lose this next round, uh, there's only one round after of pools and then I don't make it into playoffs. Uh, and the main reason I joined this tournament is because I wanted to, you know, I'm excited for uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And uh, obviously DV Ubers is a fantastic tier. I haven't played it seriously in, a long, 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 long time, but uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just excited to be playing, and if you guys actually are excited for those games coming out as well, uh, one way you can support me is by using my Best Buy links down below to pick up the games, pre-ordering them, or literally getting anything from Best Buy, so for instance, someone bought a fridge, someone got a TV, literally going through my Best Buy link, which is any of these uh, links right here, and just buying one of these or something like that you're supporting the channel another way you can support me for free and i'm just putting this now and i'll probably do it again during the battle just so people remember you can help me out but if you click this samsung link obviously if you buy something from samsung you help me out but just clicking this link in particular helps me out a ton but yeah i'm just so excited about it and i can't wait to play again so uh the first idea we have is earthquake latios the second idea i have i think is pretty original for dv ubers and i want to try gravity plus garchomp so people don't know the way gravity works, basically, uh, and I'm hoping it works the same way in DVP because it's been a long time since I tried this try in older gens. I've used it in recent gens, but the way gravity works, and let's just put a Pokemon real quick just so I can, just so I can be 100% right. It should hopefully still work the same as before. Yeah, five turns, no ground immunities, 1.67% accuracy. Yep, okay, same as same as normal, I think. So basically, uh, gravity plus spikes plus Garchomp, Scarf Garchomp. So the idea is if I have spikes up and a Giratina Origin form comes in, if gravity's up, it will take spikes damage and like a 2 kilo Earthquake. Good for like, you know, Latios coming in, good for Rayquaza. So I thought it'd be pretty original and it looked really cool. And um, besides Dragon Moves being ridiculously broken in, in Gen 4 Ubers and honestly Gen 5 as well, uh, the... The other thing that's broken is ground type attacks in my opinion. Um, and that's why Garchomp is so good, that's why Groudon's good. Uh, obviously Giratina also runs Earthquake occasionally too. And last but not least, I want to try Lead Tyranitar. And just make a team around it. I think Lead Tyranitar matches up well if you see... Again, I'm not necessarily trying to counter team, but I, I did notice particular Pokemon. Like, there were multiple Deoxys, there's multiple Jirachis. Jirachis is probably their most used Pokemon. Uh, besides Diago, which I mean, and, and Kyogre, but Diago and Kyogre are like givens when you're playing this tier. But multiple Deox leads and just like things like that in general. So I really wanted to try like a, a lead Tyranitar just to kind of just get the uh, the the six five really early. Um, not entirely sure what move set I'm going to be running on it just yet, but that's why we're building. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, so again, I want to try EQ Latios, and the way I'm going to use EQ Latios is with the spikes. So. I have to decide if I'm going to be running Deoxys Attack for Spikes lead or Deoxys S. I think that Deoxys Speed is probably just the best lead because I'll just get up my Spikes guaranteed. So, um, and then we'll move towards that either. But the Spikes are going to ensure, for instance, that I actually do some damage to... Uh, that I actually do enough damage to Pokemon like Jirachi for this guy. And it is like a, a lead that dies, right? But... It doesn't really matter, I think, too much. Um, the other option, of course, is Deoxys Attack, which is something my opponent likes as well, but I'm trying to decide if I like that. And the only uh, reason why I'm leaning towards that over Deoxys B is just because it, it matches up better versus Tentacruel. But when you're using Deoxys, you have to kind of 
use Giratina. So these are basically, like, if I use this route, these are basically, like, givens on the team, right? These guys are givens, and I'm basically almost always locked into Dialga as well because uh, it's just a, a fantastic Pokemon to be spiked. So these are, like, all givens, right? I would think. But we'll see if we go that route. These are 100%, though. These two are 100%, and whatever Deoxys form I do, you know, you want to have a Giratina because you want to be able to not only do a Groudon, but also block Rapid Spin, which is important. And of course, if I'm using these, I'm getting smashed by Dark Rise, so that's something that I need to um, deal with as well. Uh, and then we'll deal with that as, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll decide how we deal with that as the time comes. Uh, so, I just want to run a Calc super quickly. Deoxys, Speed, and again, if you guys want to skip, do your thing, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> like, go ahead and Skip ahead. I like how it has knockoff in DP. That's really interesting. Um, it should not be that. It should be timid. And I, like I said, I just want to see how much Psycho Boost does. Psycho Boost. Boost to uh, a Tentacruel. Just like no, like Uberly Tentacruel, for instance. 95 to 111. That's not too bad, to be honest. So like that's like a, an option just in case they do go ten out versus me. Um, but if I do go this, I'm definitely going spikes. I think I go extreme speed as well, just because to kind of check uh, Deoxys attack, for instance, and at least break its sash, so that way Giratina can deal with it after and like and deny its hazards basically. Uh, so spikes was this. Um, I'm gonna go psycho boost. Yeah, I'm, I am going psycho boost. Uh, focus blast. I've decided just like the damage overall, I think would be good, and then we go super power. So uh, forget stealth rock on this one. As good as they are, I can use something else for Stealth Rock. And, I mean, I'm going to end up being weak to, like, Garchomp and things inherently. And Darkrai, so, like, there's a few Stealth Rockers that can help me deal with those as well. But uh, this is what I'm mainly leaning towards, obviously. Uh, Taunt is an option, too. But, I don't know, I don't see the, uh... I don't think it even matters what nature. But I'll go Naive. Go Max Speed. I'm trying to think, think, is there anything else? I think just max attack mix. No, 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 because no, I need to be able to smack Tentacruel as well. I'm sure Superpower would do enough to Tyranitar, and they're a Focus Sash anyway. Uh, but it's just there for them. Like, it's not supposed to be actual damage, but like, yeah. So just like Spikes, and then be able to use Latios. Uh, so Latios does a lot, right? Because Soul Dew lets me actually naturally check Kyogre, which is pretty cool. Um, I think Draco Meter and Earthquake are givens. Draco Meter, Earthquake. And I think I need Recover as well. Uh, and the last move is kind of... What the hell? You know, I, I do this because it just saves me time from going 2v2, 2v2 type of things, right? But, like, it, it did not save me time. I think I have to go hasty, but before I go hasty... Because um, I'm not trying to ruin my Kyogre matchup, but before I go hasty, I, I gotta check one thing. Because does that mean that... If that means, like, a max attack Giratina lock knocks me out in one, I'll be very, very sad. Giratina... Physical attacker. Why are you using Okay, anyway. Shadow Shink. Okay, good. So, uh, no, that's not max attack. And if I go minus defense nature, so I go naive. Whoops, hasty, excuse me. 72 to 86. And if I do 4. I'm just going to put 4 there because even though Stealth Rock is not 86. I feel, I feel like games like to lie, bro. I, I don't know. I feel like they like to lie. So, I'm actually going to do four, even though it's minus. <laughs> Just because I'm going to be getting paranoid. So, uh, last option is, uh, because I want to be able to deal with Kyogre, but also, I guess, Kyogre, let me see, Groudon. Thunder just makes sense. I think Thunder just always makes sense, right? Groudon, not just Draco. So, yeah, I want to do as much damage as I can. Okay, so th this is the problem though. By using uh, Thunder versus Earthquake, like I'll show you real quick. Jirachi still technically, I feel like it does the exact same thing. This main thing is just for Heatran, right? But let me see this. Jirachi, Uber Wish support. Yeah, like it, it's mainly there for Heatran, but also like Thunder's obviously good for Rachi too. I'm trying to think, do I go Thunder? Even though it does more, Earthquake is, again, to, to... I don't have to worry about, like, rain being up, basically. Whereas Thunder is obviously 70% accuracy outside of that, but... 
And plus, you see, you guys don't know how much, like, you don't see how much Draco Meteor does, but it's pretty nasty. Like, yeah, it's the same. Like, it's, it's, it's just consistency. So, I'm either going Thunder here, um, and again, that more so depends on Rain being up. Um, actually, if I'm doing that, I might as well do Surf. Or I go, like, Grass Knot, which will do the same to Kyogre, but also do more to Groudon. Yeah, we'll just go Thunder Bros. Earthquake. Earthquake, like I said, is mainly there uh, for Heatran, for like for Sun variants. And then if he does do like Sun, like yeah, I'll go Thunder Draco Meteor Earthquake Thunder. We'll see how it works. It's fine. I think it'll be fine. And then we have Giratina, which we have to spin lock with. Um, Shadow Sneak for sure is going to be on the set no matter what. I've been really liking Shadow Sneak plus Outrage variants as well. Like a lot. Yeah, like a lot, a lot. We'll see though. Because I also kind of like the idea behind Substitute. And then just smashing someone and forcing them to like get killed while behind the sub. But we'll, we'll figure out, we'll figure out. But yeah, Giratina there, Spikes up. Uh, we want things that can take on Spikes, but we also want like uh, answers for... Um, I also want random answers for like guard chop and stuff. So bronzong is something that definitely comes to mind, I think. Uh, and then we also need a Palkia answer as well. But bronzong is something that definitely comes to mind. Cause I'm kind of debating what I want to do here is I think I stealth rock. I think I'm gonna do trick room explosion type of thing. Like just stealth rock trick room explosion, and then I can go like offensive Dialga. Assuming this gets rid of um, assuming this helps me deal with the Lottie. But yeah, I got like that, plus like Offensive Dialga, and I just like smash with that one. And I think I like that idea as well. Dialga. Adam Orb. Thank you. So we go Draco. Outrage. Yeah, just like... Max and Max, bro. We're just doing big damage here. We're doing big damage. It's gonna be nice. I'm about to do some massive damage. So like Draco Outrage, um, debating what I want on this guy either, because <laughs> that Barry Explosion could be cool too. This is a decent Palkia check, <laughs> barely, 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 but it is. Uh, Draco Outrage, I probably always go Trick Room on this too. And I'm trying to decide if I go like, as he went, I know they went Earthquake as well and I'm kind of deciding like if I want to do like something like that because like dragon moves are just broken in general right so you don't need a lot oh, my mom just sent me a picture of her dog in like a little Halloween outfit that's so cute um anyway let me just see Dialga uber mixed Jirachi Earthquake Honestly, that's not bad. Like, 50% ain't bad at all. And I'm, I'm trying to think, like, what does that not hit, right? Because Earthquake, Outrage, Draco Meteor is just good. <laughs> it's just freaking good, right? Yeah. I don't I don't see why it would be bad. And with this thing better checking Palkia and this thing giving me a Garchomp check as well, I'm, I'm going to go Earthquake. And I'm actually going to go... Um, I think I'm actually going to go Brave instead. Let me make sure I have min speed, but it's still faster than that. Uh, we're gonna go brave. We're gonna go some from big damage right now. Um, Draco Meteor is obviously so I don't have to click the other attack. Is it better to just to go max HP? Because hmm. I still have a lot. Is it better to just go max HP? Because these are the main moves I'll be. This is still gonna do a massive amount, right? Let me run a calc on uh, uh, Kyogre. Uber choice specs. Why are you so strong, dude? Okay, hold up. Surf still does a lot, even if I do that. Whatever, man. You ain't killing me in one. I think because Draco is... The, the only target that Draco hits harder than Outrage would be, like, what? It would be Groudon, right? Everything else in the tier... Outrage is fine versus Outrage is especially good versus like Manaphy and stuff too, so 
Benefit's a, thr a threat. <laughs> Benefit would be a threat, for sure. Uh, if they brought a random one, but... I'm just trying to think, like, is there anything else? Like, if I go... Let's just say Adam and Orb. I called it Luscious Orb last time, I think, because that's what is. But, Groudon. Let's just... Hey, can I, can I see how much my Draco Meteor does? 69 to 81%. That's if it's max HP. And how much does my... Um, my brave outrage do. Outrage. To a KO. Yeah, honestly, I'm just leaning towards this. Like, this is fine. I don't think I need max attack. I think, I think the more HP I have, the, be like, the better chances I have to actually be able to set up Trick Room as well. So, and Bronzon just here just to give me uh, some extra turns Trick Room without having to like set it up with Diago, without having to take the hit. I think I just go max special defense on this guy too. I don't think being max or min speed or whatever matters at all. Um, these are random custard berry too. Maybe that'll help me out in some situations. No, I don't want to be uh, min speed actually. I want to be a little, if I can, uh, faster than Wobbuffet. 102, yeah, so I want to go a little bit of speed. Just in case there's a wob. There you go. So I can just boom on it immediately. Mm, and this is outside a trick room, right? This is out. I'm in the outside of trick room. So, can leftovers this probably. I can boom on everything that's not. Uh, I can boom on literally everything that it's not Garatina, so I guess we go pay back for a little bit of chip. Opposing Dialga, this thing will smash. <laughs> well, it actually doesn't look terrible on this build either. <laughs> okay, so opposing Dialga, that thing will smash. Um, leaning towards Scarf Ogre, because spikes are always good with Scarf Kyogre. But... Not having like, hmm. do I like Scarf Ogre? I'm trying to think. I'm very weak to Dark Rai. Uh, no, like, I'm not. I'm like, I'm weak to Dark Rai, but it's like it doesn't kill my Mons, right? Because this thing lives a plus two attack, can trick room then explode, which is fine. Um, I'm also scared about like Manaphy and things like that, man. It's a demon monk. I guess Kyogre, you when I have Larius and stuff. This hopefully helps me out with that. I think I, I do go um, actually Ogre on this. With a choice Scarf to take on the hazards. Scarf Palkia, I'll, I'll be okay versus. Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Scarf Kyogre. I'm, I'm still relatively weak to uh Manaphy, but I think I can I can boom on it. I can trick him, I can boom, and then I can um I can go from there. Set up Kyogre, you're good. I can boom. I can have Outrage, Trick Room. Okay. Wow, I was playing Choice Scarf. I'll go Kyogre. It's also like if I f fight Sun, it's just good in general versus that too. So, we'll go Choice Scarf. I doubt I, I get to Water Spot really, but because of hazards, they're always going up. But Surf, Water Spout. Maybe I don't go Water Spout. Maybe I go Surf, Ice Beam, Thunder. And then instead of Water Spout, I go Thunder Wave just because that can help me out in a situation where... Uh, if it's or that, that, that Mewtwo could be annoying. Mm. Maybe I just go Hydro Pump just for the damage difference. The Thunder Waving of Palkia could be the difference between me beating them with Giratina and Latios than not. So I think I'll go Thunder Wave. Even though I have Trick Room. So. Because I'm not like full Trick Room, you know. Yeah. So we'll go that. That's fine. I'm not going to have full HP water spots anyway. So why would I? I don't have any hatchet control. 
I don't even have Taunt on my Deoxys. Um, opposing hazards can be annoying, which is why, again, yeah, yeah, we're good with that. Good with that. Giratina, Shadow Sneak. Earthquake Outrage. Diago is always going to be annoying for me to break too, but that's Diago. Yeah, that's a good mon. If it comes in on Draco, then it can come in on another hit anyway, so that's fine. I'll be fine. This has me out versus Lottie. Outrage. Diago is just good. Diago is just a good Pokemon, bro. I mean, like, legitimately, it's like a good Pokemon. I'm not calling him bro. <laughs> it's a good mon, man. Shadow Sneak. Just a big fan of Outrage. Mm, or do I go Shadow Sneak Thunder? I'm trying to think. One, two, three. Because I can, I can Draco. This will kill. Okay, so like, like I say, Dark Ride comes out, right? Um, I'll put something in sleep. Then I go Kyogre and I revenge it. If it comes out later, I can trick him uh, up with Dialga. Draco Meteor to knock it out after hazards. And then I can outrage whatever comes in and I can Earthquake the Jirachi as well. Mm. Will they wish protect Jirachis? I just see wish. It was protect Jirachis, but I still think I do too much to it. And I can trick them after. So they can't actually U-turn safely. This is always the hardest part for me, man. I kind of like Wisp. I feel like Bronzong. Wisp. Earthquake. This Wisp Earthquake. Just Outrage. Force Dragons to Outrage back to Revenge Kill Me and Draco, and then I can get up Trick Room type of thing. I think that's like legitimately the style I should be going for this, so I want to force people to come in and revenge me in a certain way. The other option is Shadow Sneak, Wisp. Mm. Actually, let's do Destiny Bond. If it's Destiny Bond, I can potentially take something. So, I, I like that like it's slower, like a like a bulky Dialga, for instance, I could potentially take it away. So, Shadow Sneak, Destiny Bond, Earthquake, and, uh, Draco. Mm -hmm. This guy. Do I like Draco? Draco's just a good move. Strong. I feel like Earthquake is a thing. Like I can also go uh, Shadow Ball for consistency too. Or do I go Shadow Sneak, Destiny Bond, Thunder, Draco Meter? I kind of like Thunder, Draco Meter more. Okay, let me see uh, Giratina real quick. I put I Giratina Incarnate. Hey man. Don't make me have to put Origin. You know which one I was talking about. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's even beauty. Physical attacker. People use Shadow Force still. Interesting. Maybe I try Shadow Force because it's cool. <laughs> Do I come to that? This is Destiny Bond. I have Thunder. Yeah, I'm going more special attack, obviously, than I think attack. That's defense. Um, I think we go hasty on this guy. Just make sure we're max speed, special attack, and it's fine. I'm sure like, there's the attack EVs I would need for something, but I think anything I needed for the psychic types and stuff, like Mewtwo and Lotties and stuff, uh, Bronzong can just trick him up and just explode on if I really need to. I can use it for support before I do any of that stuff. So, okay. So this is uh, Spikes plus Lottie. That is one team done. That took 24 minutes. Damn. The other one should be relatively fast, though, I think. Okay. All right. So Garchomp, I already know I'm going Charge Strike. The whole point is to be able to click Earthquake on this. Earthquake. Outrage. 
Dragon Claw and uh, talk I guess yeah, like a better than Stone Age, so why not? Go sleep talk just for you know, you always gotta remember when you use sleep talk, uh, it's only one turn or choice left items and you have to switch. But just for Dark Rye, it gives me something. Um I'm also leaning towards So like, let me look at the gravity mons in this tier, because I know Deoxys is one of them. Why do I have my caps on? Deoxys is one of them. I think Jirachi seems really, really cool. Yeah, because like Jirachi lets me uh, gravity plus U-turn, so... I'm definitely putting gravity. I'm going to get that slow U-turn off too, which is cool. I'm going really, really, really slow, like sassy. And then less. I could have just put the number zero, but... Yeah, we're going like this. I'm just going to take exactly what it did in that calc. Gravity, U-turn. Uh, wish, I guess. What? Whoops. Wish. I'm putting spikes on this team as well. And I'm going to put as well, HP fire. But, um, gravity, you turn. Because this guy's faster than most of the Scarfers, if not all of them, in the tier. So that's really good. I think I'm going to go Deoxys attack lead as well. With the Focus Ash. Spikes. Shadow Ball. Extreme Speed. Guess I go Stealth Rock on it too, if I'm able to. Screw it, bro. Why would you ever do that? Shadow Ball doesn't use max special attack to do damage either. Um, maybe I go HP Fire instead for like Fortress and stuff. Shadow Ball, Spikes, just standard dot, right? My, my EVs do not matter at all. This mod is going to die to every attack in the game, but I definitely want Spikes up because Spikes are going to help me out. I'm gonna put Stealth Rock on another Pokemon too. Uh, but Gravity, Wish, U Turn. Iron Head doesn't actually help me in any way in this game, right? I could put a random Ice Punch though. Doesn't that Car Trump come in for free? Whatever, I'll put Iron Head. I'd probably be, I'd probably be Garantino without Earthquake anyway. So, just because of Wish and Iron Heads. So yeah, this is going to be my main gravity mod, right? Uh, Spike, Shadow Ball, this. Snowflame, super, super powering a Tarantar. I don't think I end up with Stealth Rock ever, though. <laughs> with Stealth Rock plus Spike, but I think I... I depends, depends. Because if they lead off with the Oxus, right? I'll Shadow Ball it, and then I'll go for a Spike as they hopefully switch out into <laughs> Giratina. And then I'll go for Stealth Rock after, and I'll have a lot of damage up. So we'll go with that. Um, this always needs, I think... <laughs> this is gonna be a hard one, man. But I'm going, uh... Dialga 2. I'm going Spadef Dialga on this one. I have double Spadef uh, steals, because I think they're strong here. Uh, and then I like like double scarf. Yeah, I like that. Because I can prioritize this. Dragon Pulse, Roar. Probably either Thunder or Fire Blast. We'll see we'll leave that set for later. I like a little bit of speed as well for opposing ones. I'll figure out what I'm doing with the other ones. But yeah, like the idea is just gravity plus earthquake. And of course, I'm going to be weak to opposing stuff. So I have to be very careful uh, to not lose to it myself. Giratina. This is good Giratina check too, just naturally. The scariest Pokemon for me is going to be like a Scarf Garchomp, which my opponent likes Scarf Garchomp a lot. Like, don't get me wrong, they like it a lot. I like, I like the idea of, like I said, this. 
I want to go physically defensive Kyogre. With these guys, pocket checked. Yeah. And I should have something in the air. <laughs> As well, probably have to go Giratina with this route as well. And this one isn't that Garchomp weak. I want. I wonder if I'll be able to get away with this gravity stuff. I think I'm gonna go Thunder, especially because I have my own rain. But also, just you know, check Kyogre, do some damage to it, etc., etc. Um. And then last Mon being something that uh, is like my... I know how like I'm forced into a Giratina almost. And I know how I lose to Opposing Earthquake, but I almost don't care. You know? Like, I don't think I care. I'm almost tempted to just go Kabutops and just say, screw it bro, I'll lose to Opposing Earthquake. I'm already making it so I lose to Opposing Earthquake, why not? This has to be... Uh, Surf Ice Beam, like physically defensive, for for sure has to be physically defensive. But yeah, I'm almost tempted to go Kabutops because it just it destroys what Hajj is up to. But it doesn't matter if my entire team is weak to, I think, Earthquake either. They run a lot of teams that are weak to Earthquake too, <laughs> I'm looking at. Uh, if you actually look at what they have... Like, there's one Giratina right here. This one doesn't have anything for it at all with Scarf Garchomp. And, like, this type of team, for instance, gets smashed by Bandit Kabutops. So I'm going to I'm gonna commit fully to, hey, I'm going to get up Gravity. I'm going to use Kabutops again. Trace Band, Waterfall, Stone Edge. Low Kick is fine. And uh, Aqua Jet or Spin. But yeah, so I'm, I'm fully committing, and this will KO, uh, this will outspeed and KO Garchomp, which is important. And physically defensive Kyogre helps me not lose to the Rayquazas that destroy. <laughs> but so does Garchomp, so we're fine. Yeah, so that, okay, so the idea is bring out, uh, have hazards up, right? Have as many as possible, roar them out, phase them out a little bit, and then get in Jirachi eventually. Click Gravity, then you turn out into, slow you turn out into Garchomp, and then just click Earthquake, 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 Earthquake. That's it. That's like the plan. That's legitimately the plan. I don't think I'm going to get, I don't think I need this move on this one. So I want to put something that helps me out, rushes or something, type of lead. Superpower, I kind of like. Kind of like this random cycle boost. People don't be using that move, bro, on anybody. But I feel like it's just dumb strong. Uh, the other option is ice beam. Ice beam is cool too. Ice beam ain't bad, bro. Ice beam is not bad. Damn, they use a lot of Scarf Garchomp. So this one's gonna be this is gonna be a fun one because it might just come down to speed ties, which I, I don't mind. Uh, they, but if I can get rid of like certain Pokemon on their team, for instance, like a lot of the if you actually look at these, like they're not they're not like, guaranteed to use the same teams. But if you actually look at some of these, if I can get rid of like Giratina, for instance, then Waterfall can sweep like regardless of them having Kyogre and stuff. Lefty's Thunder come line protect. I think I go. I still like Calm Mind plus Protect as well. A lot. Like it's been one of my favorites. It's been like the most consistent Kyogre for me. And even if they watched all my games, who cares? Like it has legitimately been the most consistent Kyogre for me. And I will con I will continuously use something that I enjoy. That's how I did well in the RU Open and my RU just in general Snake Run. This is the one I want to change, right? Because spike up, more spikes the better. The more spikes the better.
And there were some games that didn't even have a guillotine, which is cool, so. Mmm. I'll put Psycho Boost, screw Darkrai. I got options. Okay. Gravity plus Garchomp. Should be cool. Validate that. That's gonna be fun. Again, ironically, I lose also to Earthquake Spam, but it's fine. It's fine. For example, Dialga doesn't die from full to Scarf Garchomp, whereas I, I smash it back with like Dragon Pulse uninvested, like, especially after Spike, so it don't matter. Uh, and last one, like I said, I want to use a Focus Sash Tyranitar lead. Focus Sash. Payback, I think, is just the strongest move you can have, period. Uh, because it doesn't care about, like, Tenor Cruel. It doesn't care about anything like that, I think. So, let me, uh, Tyranitar. Payback. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologize. Um, Tentacruel, Uberly. That's how much it does, bro. That's nothing. Okay, that's more like it, baby. Okay. So we got payback right there. We got earthquake. Tentacruel. Super power as well. For Dark Ride. Because they can miss. And then, uh, yeah, just like. It's supposed to be anti lead, right? It's like fire blast for. What, for Fortress, and that's good? I think so. Yeah, you don't need any special attack investment to kill a Fortress? That is so sad. Fire Blast for Fortress. Max attack. Uh, maybe some speed. Some speed for... Not a lot you actually need speed for because you're going for payback. But, <laughs> but otherwise, my earthquake and superpowers, I want to be able to do ba massive damage to things. So this will be. I don't know why I picked the fence. It's gonna be hasty. Oh, I didn't mean hasty. Um. Oops. 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 Which nature did I want on this thing? Lonely? Yeah, probably lonely. Oh, this is the wrong nature. I was about to say, bro, bro, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That still don't do enough. Man, 78 to 91. I thought that did more. I was waiting for some big damage. Seal power is there for Darkrai. Fire Blast for that. Like, I, I just think that... I, I like using, like, things like this. I feel like they... they when they work... I don't know, I feel like they work at times. Uh, so, we'll see. Anti lead to limit hazards and whatnot. If they lead off with a Deoxys or, or let's say a Giratina, I'll be okay. Uh, payback if it's weaker, but I'm faster than a Giratina, that'd be cool too. I mean, if they lead off with a Deoxys or a Tenacro, I'll be good. I limit them to one hazard and they die, so I don't have to worry at all about that. And then I still have Focus as Tyranitar to, you know, wreak havoc for a bit. The other option is also Ice Beam over Superfire for Dark Rider, though. I kind of like that. I just like superpower being there for Dark Rai. And I might even be faster than them, so, okay. Not Dark Rai, but I'm thinking about Jirashi and stuff. Okay, so. Sand, lead, anti-lead, getting rid of the oxes first, limiting hazards always. Good. Mmm. I remember here, it's like, I have no idea what I want to use. I just knew I wanted to use the lead Tyranitar because it looked cool. <laughs> that's, that's legitimately what I saw. But from now on, it's like, bro, what am I using now? <laughs> uh, I, I kind of like the Groudon. Like, Groudon plus that. This is good for that. Maybe I go Dark Ride plus... Dark Ride's good. It's a good mod. It's a really good mod. I want to make sure I'm good versus Sun again. <clears throat> like, I'm always leaning towards the EQ Lottie on these types of builds. Hmm. 
This only doesn't beat Ho-Oh, but like, come on, man, don't stay with Ho-Oh on a damn Tyranitar. Like, I could have attacks to hit you. I should have been looking on this frame. Um... Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking, like I said, like, this is like, this is the building process, right? It's trial and error, but I don't have time to try these. <laughs> I really don't. Let me look at what I've built so far. Like, I kind of like this. This. Scenario, but without Lee Garchomp. It's just to lead uh, Tyranitar and does the exact same thing. I really like this. I don't know why. I really am liking this. I think I actually take this whole build and go with lead Tyranitar instead of Garchomp. Because this leads me good versus that. I can Destiny Bond that. This is still good. And, and bulk up Dialga is still busted. And plus if they have T-Spike as well, I just absorb it. Cool. Okay, so this next one's like a cheat one. But I'm going uh, Lee Garchomp plus these homies. I think that's the way I do it in this one. Like legitimately, I think because like, this is something I I like the idea of using Rain in this. Fast woke up. I think I, do I need Outrage or can I use Dragon Claw? That's fine. And I can sub bulk up on their Jirachi, which is really important. And like it's fast enough. I, I really like the idea of this. So. Just changing up the lead. I've done this so many times in DV as well. Just change up the lead. So I immediately get rid of one of theirs and then kind of go from there. Like limit what they can do. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm going to do this. Lead tar plus quill. Cool. So I, I, you're like, yo, boo. But like, I mean, this is something I would come up with anyway, right? Because... If I limit them to one T-Spike, for instance, they have T-Spike, I absorb a Quillfish later, that doesn't matter. If I limit them to one Spike, this team benefits as a whole. This is still really good versus everything my opponent likes. They like Garchomp, they like Spit Up the Alga, um, which under Rain, Bronzong, Walls. Uh, they like Jirachi, right? Specs Hyogre can obviously be a problem, but I have the Alga plus Palkia, I have faster Quillfish with Explosion plus Waterfall. Um, this is good versus... Heatran, because I don't care about them on at all. The Roar would be annoying, but like, obviously. I, this is kind of like what I'm just liking. I, I think this is the way to do it. I really do. Let me go one speed faster than that I'm on. Yeah, I'm doing it. All right, we're committing. So, Spikes Pilati, Gravity Garchomp, and Lead Tar plus Quill. Those are the teams, guys. So, uh, if you enjoyed the process, again, <laughs> that last one, I just it just felt right. Like It just feels right. Um, especially because Garf Palkia also helps me out. Versus the uh, random Rayquaza or something like that, Dragon Spam. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the process and let's just go right into the battles. All right, guys, so we are here with the battles versus HSA. And uh, yeah, we'll just start it and get right into it. Have fun. So we have Tentacruel versus Deoxys Lee. Tentacruel isn't really the greatest versus me, so I'm okay with this. Uh, just gonna go for a Psycho Boost here and bring it down to its. Oh, well. Gonna go for a cycle boost right there in Oko Tentacruel, so we <laughs> prevent T Spike and I can get up spikes after. So probably a fantastic. That's weird because in the other games their Tentacruel is actually Focus Sash, but I'm happy that that's dead. No matter what set the Strachi is, I should be good. Scarf, I'm faster than. We do end up getting up a spike, which is awesome. And what I can do here is just bring out Bronze on them. And there's a like the Jirachi we know that they have, so it's pretty cool because now I can get up rocks as well. And uh, this is exactly what I was talking about, like, <laughs> being able to uh, have Earthquake on my Dialga. Like, I feel like I straight up C-teamed almost. But they bring out their Dialga there. Nice, I get up my rocks. We do notice leftovers on their Dialga. I'm going to make the Deoxys play here. If they Stealth Rock, that's fine. If they Dragon Pulse, that's fine too. That ends up knocking me out. Let me just make sure that that wasn't, like... I mean, it's a Dialga, so I'm assuming that support sets can knock me out no matter what, right? That's Drago Meteor. Let's just say no special attack. The reason I went out into Dialga, uh, or excuse me, into Giratina is because if I was able to... Uh, oh, okay, yeah. If I was able to get it up on Stealth Rock, I can just get some damage off on them. But... Uh, 
Gonna bring out Giratina here, and I'm fairly confident I don't die to no special attack investment. Dragon Pulse. So I'm going to Draco Meteor just for chip on them. This is gonna help out my Kyogre in the back. And they unfortunately crit me. So that's pretty big. Uh, not gonna lie, that's actually very, very big that they crit me there, because I didn't die and I can get more damage off on them. However, Latios' Draco is a KO, even if it's max special defense. I mean, I don't have to calc anything at all, because I have Earthquake as well. So we're going to drop a Draco with Latios here, too. And that should be a kill. And if they bring out this Jirachi, I do some beautiful damage back to it. Which is Earthquake as well. As they wish, and if they don't have U-Turn, I'm good. So Earthquake would knock out the Aga. They may go out to Giratina, I don't care. They do end up having Protect. Good to note. I'm just going to Earthquake again. It really, really hurt not being able to... Uh, it really, really hurt not being able to kill that Dialga right there. I would have Destiny Bond if I knew I would have gotten crit. But let's get the rain here. With Spikes up, I should be fine anyway. Like, my Dialga is going to beat this guy 1v1 as well. I'm pretty sure Iron Head is the last move. There, Dialga comes out. Ice Beam or Thunder. I think I just surf here for as much damage as possible. I shouldn't die to any attack they go for unless they Thunder Crit me. They don't. Perfect. So uh, I can go for another Surf here. If they go out to Giratina, that doesn't matter either. Every bit of chip on Giratina's means I don't have to click Outrage versus it. Let me see if I know this team as well. So Tentacruel, Rocks, Giratina, Jirachi, Heatra, and Latias. Nope. Tenor, Kyogre, Kiratina, Spedaf, Scarf, Garchomp, Protect, Arachi. I think it's... If it's that same build... If it's that same build, then... You know, obviously now we know, but... I'm just going to surf for some more damage for later. As they end up going for Thunder there to knock me out. And we'll once again just bring out my Latios and click Draco. I think that it's still the best play no matter what. I want to Thunder so badly on theirs, but I think I get in my Dialga and I'm, I'm good versus them, so. And plus I always Earthquake because I can force a potential, there's a chance that I can crit them, you know? So I always Earthquake here. Gonna bring out Dialga. Gonna go for Earthquake with my Dialga, which does a lot, obviously. Mm. They should, they could Iron Head, but if Jirachi could dies, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna go for Earthquake again. They should protect here, but who cares if they go Giratina? Like a Kyogre wouldn't beat me either. So I'm glad I was able to get up this. I'm still sad though that they uh, that that Dialga did as much as it did versus me. But yeah, so my Earthquake did a lot. They may protect. Um, maybe they'll try and Iron Head me as well, but... I think if I get up Trick Room, I'm in a, a really strong position. Yeah, so we're going to Earthquake here again. Even if they ex anticipate it, right, and go out to Giratina, I don't think that matters so much. Because I always go Bronzong on that. Um, I like Payback here. I think it's safe. Uh, it doesn't matter if Jirachi comes out, right? I just go Dialga after anyway. So it's the exact same thing. I always bring out Dialga here. I'm gonna go for Earthquake again as they wish. And I get a crit, which I'm very, like, happy about. Like, I'm not, I'm not mad at all about that. Obviously. And I like the uh, ability to just go bronze on this. Thunder does not do enough. Gonna get a trick room in their face as I pray not to get crit or full paralyzed. Nice. And I'm just gonna explode here. Now the reason I'm exploding is because 
I don't really want to switch into anything, but if they randomly switch here, I get a lot of damage off on something, so... We'll see what happens. But like I said, if they randomly switch, I, I basically get max turn. I get three turns with Dialga, so Draco and Giratina will kill it. If they switch, I kill something as well. So it just looks good, I think. But yeah, again, I'm just going to go right for the Outrage, uh, uh, the Explosion. As they end up bringing out their Kyogre, there we go, that should die. And then I just click Outrage and I win. I'm assuming the last two is Garchomp plus Giratina. Outrage is free. Again, if this is the same team that I thought it was, that it looks like it is, it looks like their last is Garchomp. Yep. GG. Nice. All right, awesome. So we end up winning game one. The spikes plus Bronzong plus that was really good. And they ended up bringing team six from their list of teams that I had written down. So, uh, yeah, let me um, just tell them. Oh, they're challenging right now. All right, so now it's time for the gravity. Now it's time for gravity plus spikes, which look really, really cool. So I'm glad that I brought Earthquake. Uh, I thought Earthquake Latios wasn't as strong, but I'm glad that Earthquake Dialga was something I uh, ended up using. Let me just look at this real quick. Gravity plus that. One, two, three, four, five, combine, and fun. Have fun. Gonna just use E-Speed here. Actually, I value Spike way more than E-Speed. They do unfortunately win a speed tie, which is like, what could I do about that, right? But uh, Deoxys, I'm not entirely sure what they have out after, but I do know for a fact that bringing out Diaga is always safe, right? So it sucks they won that speed tie because I would have been able to at least break their sash and limit them to one spike, but I do get up one spike myself. Like, and I'm not sure, like, what, uh, which build they're running here. I live a Specs hit. I'm going to go for Stealth Rock and then try and phase them. As they go for Dragon Pulse themselves, we're going to get up these. And we're just going to phase them out a little bit. So that's already in range of Garchomp, which is nice. There is their own Garchomp that just came out. I believe this is the, uh, I believe this would be Spex, Palkia, Scarf, Garchomp. This might be the Palkia variant, I think. Hmm. I'll sack this here. Bring out you. Go for a Calm Mime, because I don't think you ever risk your, uh, your Garchomp here. Yeah, as you go Palkia. Yep, makes sense. I live this comfortably, and I do get full paralyzed, which kind of sucks. But I get a, oh, I get a, oh, I get paired there, but not full paired. So this is the uh, the Wobbuffet build as well. So I know that much. So I don't really get to make use of gravity in this game, which is very unfortunate. Yeah, that really sucks. I don't get to make use of gravity in this game. I'm gonna go Jirachi and unfortunately get <laughs> crit there. Which really hurts. Oh, well, that sucks. That really sucks. Bro, why? <laughs> Waterfall is good for that. Uh, I guess I just Iron Head, right? Like, it doesn't really matter what they do. Like, they might expect Protect. They may pray for that I get fully paralyzed here, but I'll Iron Head just in case. Yeah. So again, they expected a Protect there, which is fair. Ooh, I got a nice little crit on Kyogre, which actually matters for a potential Water Swall sweep later. So that's nice. It's actually looking hella good right now because what I expect them to do is to uh, sack Kyogre and then go Wobbuffet. Yep, 
Yeah, they sack Kyogre, then they go Wobbuffet. Yeah, and this is looking so good for my uh, my Kabutops. And this is what happens also, like, when you build team... Why is, where's my Garchomp? I mean, I, I was going to ask if they could see my Garchomp, but I'm assuming you bring out Wob now. There's an Earthquake there. Perfect. Can I low kick beat Garchomp? No. Waterfall in the rain definitely beats it, though. How much does I do I do to Dialga? Uber mixed. Okay, I think I go Jirachi here, and I click Iron Head. Because I need to weaken this guy. I need to weaken uh, Dialga, if I can. How much does Waterfall do to Dialga in the rain? That is no investment. That's also the wrong thing. So I think I have to go off a of flinch. Hmm. How much does Low Kick do to... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is it over if I do this? Low Kick does not do enough. Waterfall in the rain does. I think I have to go off a flinch if I want to win because I think if Wobbuffet comes in, it takes Stealth Rock plus Spike. I take double the damage. So they'll take, uh, they take 12 plus 12, right? So they take 12 plus 12, which is going to be um, 24, plus get 6% after. So I don't think I can actually kill them. 16 plus 6, yeah. Like two, I would need a low kick crit. And that's assuming I can live the second counter after too. So I think my play here is to um, wish I was a different set. <laughs> 31 to 36%. It's a 30. It's a 20% chance to flinch them. Uh, I wish I had a gravity as well. Maybe I'm doing the raft wrong. Let me low kick. I obviously can't switch versus Wobbuffet, right? But if they go... I, I don't know how much it ends up taking, you know? I don't know how much counter does to me. That's the thing. So... Because I'm only doing 10%. But 10% is Wobbuffet's HP is maybe too much. Oh man, if I was like Water Incense... I should have went for the Waterfall Flinch, I think. So that was my bet. Damn, man, it does too much. It does too much. And I take too much from spikes and everything, too. I should have went for Waterfall Flinch, for sure. Because you have two layers of spike, right? They got... See, if I win that one speed tie and they have one layer, I was a 24.5... No, no, no. So I got to go for a low kick. A low kick crit. Garchomp. Yeah, that's it. Got to go for a low kick crit. So what I should have done was actually went for the waterfall flinch. I didn't realize how I didn't know how, how much counter was gonna do to me. So, GG. All right, I didn't know how much counter was gonna do to me, so that was my bet. So yeah, I messed up there. Should have went for the uh, the, the waterfall flinch. It would have given me uh, a stronger chance at winning. But okay, last one. Quillfish cool time. If I, if I knew how much counter did, that is, at, rather. Here's the Bronze on Tyranitar team. Let's go. So I click payback here and I get a kill. Basically. Ooh, so they get up double layers here. Which is very unfortunate. I do not have Rapid Spin. I'm assuming this is the Jirachi one. Nope, this is the Kyogre. 
I'm still gonna pay back here because I am focus sash, so I'll do a lot. I'm gonna lot. Oh, oh my God, that's such a big crit, bro. I, why do I keep critting this mon? I legitimately keep critting this mon. It is really unfair. Holy crap, bro. I legitimately keep crit critting this mon. Is Roar? I think I Destiny Mon here. Okay, that's fine. It sucks to show it off, but like... I need damage on this guy anyway. So this would be Dialga. Kyogre's already gone. My Palkia looks a lot better with these guys being gone. So I'm gonna try and weaken their resistances if I can. Coolfish comes back out. We're gonna go for a T-Spike here. As they Thunder to knock me out, that's fine. Get up a layer there, which is nice always. I am a little weak to, uh, to like a Kabutops. Ah, I'm not really weak, that weak to the Kabutops. So basically the ideal situation for me is here is they go for Thunder. I, I never get full Paralyzed. Or par yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I can get more damage off of them, so that way I can knock them out with Palkia. Damn, bro. Let me get some damage off on you, dude. Like, without... <laughs> without dying. Holy crap, man. Could you, could you use a crit there? This is a damn shame, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just lose to Garchomp now. Like, legitimately. So, like, any Earthquake damage would have been good. Or if I went for the double Destiny Bond, uh, we're just going to Outrage here. Which will knock them out. But I'm pretty sure Garchomp just comes out and messes me up, right? It should, in theory. Oh no, they went out to this. I'm faster than you. So they went for Outrage back. Mmm. Well, <laughs> we hit ourselves and we lost. What a game, man. I know I crit. I know I crit the uh, game. I know I crit the Kyogre, but damn, man. Like. I didn't even have a chance in this one, which was really annoying. I really wish the Destiny Bone worked on Diago, but that's Pokemon, right? But like, I don't know what their last few were at all, but if you gotta go Giratina first on my homie, then maybe they couldn't even deal with me. Like if it's like Jirachi plus, uh, well if it was Garchomp, I guess it doesn't matter, right? But then you would, why would you not go Garchomp first just to click Earthquake? That's unfortunate. That was a very unfortunate game. Like I said, if I got any Earthquake damage, oh, let me watch that back. Because that was more than likely Specs Ogre. But any of the damage with Tyranitar. Let me see this. Kyogre. Yeah, it does the 70%. And that puts it in range of Quillfish Waterfall. Which means I can go Quillfish after the Revenge Kill. And so unfortunately, I'm 1 and 2. I didn't. I, see, you don't want. So some crits you don't want because you want to be able to, like use to your advantage that was good of them though they expect me to go for the other move but yeah so like literally any hit off on Diaga if I got any of these earthquakes off I could kill it with Palkia after instead of having to sack my Kyogre and my Palkia and I guess essentially my Diaga but that is the game we play right so I think I was right on my team selections I think in the Wob Effect game I uh I think in the Wob Effect game, let me look at this one. I should have just went off Waterfall Flinch, especially based on like how that game went. But that's also another one, light, right? If I win one speed tie here too, which is a speed tie, so 50 50. But if I win it, they don't get up both layers, which still helps me win the game as well. And also, if my Jirachi doesn't get crit by their Diago, but I also crit them. They expected me to protect there, which is fair. Look at the Iron Head crit. Outrage was knocking out offensive Kyogre anyway. They go Wob to revenge kill me. I think what I should have done on Wobbuffet. Hmm. Should I have gone out into Kabutops first? No, I, either way, it would, I would still need a flinch. So what could I do at that point? But, uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. And uh, that's unfortunate. So we're one and two. 
I think if I lose the next one, I'm completely out, and then I still have to play just because I'm in it. Ah, I wish this did less too, just a little bit less. But it wouldn't have mattered, like it, because they had two layers of spike. Let me see the first game. Let me see how the first game went. I don't remember the game. That died in one, I got a spike up, yeah. Oh yeah, Dialga just massacred. They got a crit as well on them. There's dead, this guy dies, I get the explosion right, then outrage, and then outrage. Oh well, thank you everyone for watching, hope y'all enjoyed, I'll see you next time, peace!